Hey Survivor fans, this is Jack and Kay here, aka now known as the Gifted Communicator. Um, I'll get into uh, that a little bit later, um, why I got that new nickname. Um, I'm going to recap episode 13, uh, lots to cover, um, very controversial episode, uh, very controversial tribal council, uh, as usual a lot of spewing between people, fans. Um, very, um, kind of a touchy subject, um, I'll get into more detail on that, um, obviously it was the family visit, um, and also I want to, uh, kind of campaign for fan favorite, uh, somebody for fan favorite, and, um, as we all know, Sunday's the finale, so hurry up and get your fan favorite votes in for whoever, but everybody knows who I'm voting for. Uh, I'll get it all into that a um, little bit um, towards the end here. Uh, let's get on to business. As usual, um, they recap not just last week's, but they go uh, a few weeks back. Um, we go back to camp. Eric kind of has a breakdown. He uh, starving, um, tries to climb a coconut tree. Like I said many times before, it's got to be hard to be out there. Uh, 39 days of starving, it takes a toll. Um, I'm still willing to do that, I mean, for a million dollars and chance to be on Survivor, but it's got to be tough out there, and I feel for the guy, and it was kind of hard to watch. Um, kind of, there was several things about this episode that was very hard to watch. Um, um, so, um, a few minutes later, the Sprint Tree mail arrives. Um, the surviving contestants get to see a video clip of video letters from their loved ones, um, Emotional moment. Um, the family visits always always are emotional for me because after the line drama backstabbing, you know, uh, it's good to have kind of a feel good episode. Um, so they go into the uh, the reward challenge. Uh, the family members arrive very emotional. Uh, you know, it it brought a tear to my eye, and every time I rewatch it, it it, it just uh, brings a tear to my eye, and I'm not the kind of guy that just cries, uh, but I, I, I will fully admit that, that uh, I, I shed a tear towards that, because I always love the family visits. Um, eventually what goes down is Brenda wins with her dad, and uh, she picks Dawn, uh, but the first time in Survivor history, and um, they, uh, there's second loved ones that come out, and... Um, Eventually, Brenda has to choose between the other four, uh, getting to see all their loved ones, or Brenda uh, herself and Don continuing. And eventually, she picks the other four. Uh, Don's quite upset and understandably so. But uh, the one thing I did not agree on was they had a barge and they put all the other ones, but they had to put it in front of Don and Brenda, which I I disagreed with that. As a matter of fact, I hated it. I think that was a dick move on the producer's part. They should not have done that. They should have separated it instead of just putting it out there for them to see. And It was basically like um, putting salt on the wound. I just disagreed, and it was just wrong, I thought. Um, Don's furious. She's mad. I don't blame her. Um, I mean, I could, I could fully understand that, and um, I, I think that that's uh, a part of what happens later. I, I think um, uh, the uh, everybody comes back. Um, uh, one thing I I noticed, and uh, I don't understand why the other four they had so much food there. Why they didn't bring Don and Brenda some? I don't know if they did or didn't, but they didn't show it. They should have. Uh, if they did, cool. If they should have showed it. And if they didn't, they probably should have. Um, just. Uh, out of generosity to Brenda for giving the other four, but that, that's just me. Um, they go back to camp anyways. Cochran sees Brenda as a threat because obviously she gave the other four um, the <clears throat> reward. Um, basically, up to this point, Brenda hasn't pissed anybody off. She's a, a physical threat, and don't get me wrong, I like Brenda, but she's not my favorite this season. There's only two people I really didn't like, and that was Shamar and Brandon. Uh, I want to clear that up. Um, obviously, it's obvious why I don't like Shamar and Brandon. A um, couple jerks. But um, 
But anyways, Cochran sees her as a threat. Um, we go into the immunity challenge. Uh, basically, it comes down to uh, Dawn and Brenda. Um, Brenda drops out to give Dawn an immunity. Dawn's never won uh, individual immunity before. She has won a challenge for the Savai tribe back in South Pacific, if you don't remember. Um, I don't. I think that was um, kind of a, a payback for letting Dawn down. Uh, I don't know if anybody else agrees, but uh, yeah. Um, but that's what happens. Um, Dawn wins the immunity. Uh, so we go back to tribal council. Um, oh no, we go back to camp and basically it, the two targets are Eddie and Brenda. Tribal council, long story short, Brenda gets voted out. Big blind side, she gets hurt. Um, onto that controversy, a lot of people are targeting Don on Twitter, Facebook. Um, like I said before, Survivor, um, it's a game for a million dollars, and that's what it is, a game. There's no gray area. Um, there's no straight line. It's not uh, a straight line of, oh, you're going to win this, or I'm going to stay with you, or fairly rarely is it a straight line in a very gray area at a very uh, determ um, predetermined uh predetermined actions or incidents or whatever. It's it's for a million dollars and anything can happen. Like I said, it's 39 days of food starving um, and one's individual actions or whatever can determine anything. Like I said, it's, there's no real great area and, um, and I don't think Don deserves all the hate that she's getting on Twitter. It's for a million dollars. Um, you know, and Brenda was a threat, like I said, and she played a very nice, honest game, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm going to clear that up. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, but like I said, anything can happen on Survivor. It's no gray area. I mean, you know, so on with that, it's just, um, you know, I, you know, I can, I can agree where fans are kind of upset, but like I said, just keep in mind it's just a game. Um, uh, on with that, um, remember when I told you uh, I am now known as the gifted communicator? This is why I know I got <laughs> I know I got some slack for it, and that's okay. Everybody has opinions about people, and, you know, I'll take the ribs, the jokes, but actually, in all honesty, it's a pretty good book if you're into the spy espionage action thing. Um, it's, a, it's a very good read. Um, I finished it in like a day and a half. Um, it kept me interested. So, I mean, if you're if you're a fan of The Specialist or Philip Shepard, I'd highly recommend it. And it's not real expensive. You can find it on Amazon for like 12 bucks. So, um, uh, you know, so but, uh, get it if you, I mean, it's a good read. It's a good read. Okay. Um, fan favorite? Uh, obviously, I'm voting for Matt because um, I hung out with the guy briefly. I went to a couple of his concerts. Very nice guy. Um Vote 15 for Matt, uh, you know, and if you don't, you know, that's cool, but I encourage you. He's a really great guy, and it was such an honor to meet somebody from my hometown that was on Survivor. Kind of aspiring, actually. Um, I know Survivor's on the edge of its rope, and I'm still trying. Um, so um, with that being said, campaign. I'm campaigning for Matt. Um, I will till the finale. Um, obviously, it's the finale weekend, and... If you follow anybody on Twitter, they look like they're having a great time, and that's great. Um, I wish I was there, um, you know. And but June first, I get to meet some of the people, so it's not it's not a really big loss. I just wish I was down there, and looks like a great time. So maybe next year I'll strike lucky and get tickets or something. I I, I hope. <laughs> but you know, it looks like they're having a great time, and they should. I mean, that that's what it's all about. Uh, Survivor having a great time on the island or not while on the island but you know just realizing it's a game and you know and unfortunately some contestants seasons past still does not get the hint that it's just a game and whole bitterness and then that's just stupid but anyways they're all at the finale now from what i see and uh there it looks like they're all having a great time so wish i was there and have fun guys um next week finale it actually happens sunday it's three hours this time um looks like gonna be crazy uh it's gonna be a medivac and uh We'll see. I already have. 
I have a feeling I think I know who's going to win, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut. All right, well, love you guys. Peace, love, chicken grease. See you guys Sunday or Monday. Peace.